Hello, good morning, guys. This is Trent. Um, I got a couple of requests from people asking about putting movies onto the Nokia E90. I'm going to show you a preview of what a movie can look like once it has been able to take advantage of the, uh, the entire widescreen of the Nokia E90. I will then show a tutorial as to how I am able to get it uploaded onto my uh, E90 device. Right now we're in the gallery and as you can see, under video clips, the only clip that I have on here is the feature film, uh, The Passion of the Christ, which was directed by Mel Gibson. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause this right now. But as you can see, that was a pretty great preview of what a movie can look like on the E90's wide screen. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take one of these DVD discs, insert it into my MacBook Pro, and use a program called Handbrake to uh, burn the file of the entire movie onto my computer here. Let's go for Dune. It's pretty much a good cinematic piece. Now once I've popped in the DVD disc, I'm going to have to access it as the source for Handbrake. It's going to start playing automatically through DVD player, but I'll just have to stop that application real quick, okay? I've stopped DVD. As you can see here, Dune is now showing up as an icon on my desktop, which means that I can now go into Handbrake and select it as a source to start burning it onto my computer. We're going to go into the top left hand corner right now and click on Source. The Dune icon should be all by itself. So what we're going to do is click on that and then go into Video TS, highlight that, and then click on Open. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and click on Start. And as you can see down at the bottom, it's starting to encode everything. So right now, the Dune movie is finally a digitized uh, file that's on my MacBook Pro. And I'll show that to you right now. Right below the icon for the Dune DVD that is currently in my optical drive, you have the Dune movie file that has been burned to the hard drive of the MacBook Pro. I ran into a problem where once I got the MPEG-4 file that had just been encoded by Handbrake and dragged it onto my micro SD card, the Nokia E90 had trouble playing back the video. As you can see, Real Player starts up. Unable to play either sound or video clip, trying to play partially. Now what's going to happen here is that it starts playing the audio and not the video. The spice is vital to space travel. The spacing guild and its navigators who the spice has mutated over 4,000 years. The only way for me to get around that problem was to use another application by the name of Visual Hub. Now Visual Hub is an encoding software that I purchased from online and um, I use it for my MacBook Pro whenever I need to um, convert different video um, applications into a, a correct format to be able to run on my iPod or on my E90. Now what we're going to do here is take this Dune uh, video file here on my MacBook Pro and we're going to click on it once and hold it and then drag it into the window for Visual Hub. 
is that if you take a regular video file that's not optimized for the E90's resolution, um, you're going to have a couple of black bars on either side of the video, even when you bring it to full screen on the E90. Now to alleviate that problem, what we need to do is change the width and the, uh, the height of the video itself to be able to fit the entire inner screen of this E90. So whenever you convert a video by these dimensions, 800 wide, 352 high, you're going to have a video that's going to be able to take up the whole entire screen of the E90. Now that I've double clicked on these settings, this is automatically going to be applied to the video that I will now reconvert through Visual Hub, okay? To begin the conversion process, and then we have the feed here that's starting. And then as the time goes on for a couple of hours or so, you're going to see that this progress bar is going to turn a solid blue. Found that after reconverting the video feed through Visual Hub, I've had no trouble playing everything back on the E90 device. We now have two files of the movie Dune on the desktop. This MP4 file here, the second one, is from Visual Hub that just completed a while ago. And this first one here is the file version that had been encoded by Handbrake uh, earlier today that I had told you guys about. So what I'm going to do is uh, just get rid of this one completely. And now that this has been converted to this from Visual Hub, I will now... Uh, put this on my Nokia E90 and play it for you guys through the widescreen. Okay guys, what I've done here is I've taken the micro SD card, popped it into the adapter, which is now inside the card reader, which is now connected to my MacBook Pro via the USB plug. And the memory card has acknowledged itself on the desktop with this removable disk icon on my MacBook Pro. I have completed copying the uh, the new movie file of Dune to my micro SD card and, and as you can see we have video and audio and here we go know then that it is the year 10,191 we're going to blow it up in full screen just to show that uh, reconverting this file into the 800 by 352 resolution allows it to be able to take advantage of the entire screen of the E90. One. The known universe is ruled by the Padishah Emperor Shaddam IV, my father. Don't try your powers on me. Try looking into that place where you dare not look. You'll find me there staring back at you. You mustn't speak! And his word shall carry death eternal to those who stand against the righteous. The righteous! There is a Harkonnen among you. Um, you take your DVD, your movie, pop it into your MacBook Pro here, activate the handbrake application, and then encode it. You're going to take the video file off of the disk, put it onto your hard drive of your computer. Now once you have that video file, if you can put it onto whatever phone you've got, then you're A-OK -okay if it can play it back just fine. But in my case, being that my Nokia E90 could not play the file directly from Handbrake, I then had to take the video file and reconvert it through Visual Hub. And then once I was able to reconvert it through Visual Hub, I also took the opportunity to also change the resolution of the video feed itself to 800 by 352 in order for it to fit the interior widescreen of the E90. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, hopefully this will help guys out there who have the Nokia E90 to be able to put uh, movies onto their device if they also have a Mac. So uh, that's pretty much it. Take care, and you guys have a good day. Bye.